Welcome back, guys. Sim Football Critic here, and you see the title. Let's get right into it. Keep this one short and sweet. Here are the reasons why I think the NBA Live is in serious trouble. First and foremost, what you're looking at in this video is the most recent trailers dropped by NBA 2K, introducing my part, as well as Live's trailer, introducing, you know, some improvements on the offensive side of the ball. All right? Now, here's one of the main reasons why I think Live is in some serious trouble. First of all, you cannot let the Giant come out swing. You can't let them come out and <laughs> they come out and they swing first. They get the first punch. And the reason why I say the Giant is because everybody knows that NBA 2K has been the prominent game, the more dominant game over the last several years. Even if you're looking at the year 14 game, NBA 2K sold roughly 7 million copies, Live sold 150,000. Okay, and we all understand live is rebuilding itself, you know, so I'm not going to compare the games as far as gameplay because like I told you before, I don't expect live to be where 2K is. Not to say that 2K is perfect, but let's just keep it real. 2K is in a better position, so I'm not even going to go with the obvious. But my point is, first and foremost, you can't let them come out swinging and give them a three week head start. You can't do that. The fact that live is delayed that is a serious problem because there's numerous people who will enjoy 2k and you're going to expect them to turn around and buy another basketball game without playing a demo you know why would they do that why would you do that i'm just saying you know i'm not you know speaking for everyone out there i'm just saying if you're satisfied with the product that you have and it's a great game and you know if that's what you feel why would you turn around and buy another game that you don't have any way of testing out? That's the first problem. Second, there's no big emphasis on the career mode. You know, whether that be like a my player, which is rising star and live, or just a you know regular career. There's no big emphasis on that. So as of right now, NBA 2K is killing live in every aspect in terms of modes. And we all know in this day and age, that's the biggest aspect of these games. You know, everyone is doing their my player and their my career and things of that nature. That's a huge draw. So if you can't compete in that area, once again, you're gonna have people already out there deep into their franchise, deep into their my player or the my part, or what have you, having a good time. And then you expect them again to pay for another basketball game without even trying it out. That's a tough sell. Now, I want competition just as bad as everyone else. But, you know, we're talking about money here. Without being able to try the game out first, how many people are willing to pay another $60 when there's already a game that they're satisfied with? I'm just saying. So like I said, those are my reasons. You know, I'm not gonna go with the obvious reasons. I just wanted you guys to think about it from a different perspective. And I'm interested in seeing how these physics are gonna be that they're advertising here and live as well. Because, you know, we all know that the physics is not up to par yet. And Madden, you know, it's improving, but it's not up to par. So is that really gonna be a selling point? All right, so that's pretty much all I got to say, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get out here, like always. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, guys, every Thursday night, Sim Standard Radio. Make sure you tune in. And don't forget to check me out on Twitter at SimFBallCritic.